not even two weeks into the Biden presidency, and there's a situation brewing that could potentially lead to U.S. military involvement. You likely heard today about the situation in Burma, also known as Myanmar. You probably don't fully understand what's happening, though. But it is pretty interesting, and I'll fill you in. Situated just south of China and west of Thailand, Burma is a country that for years existed under very strict military rule. Then in 2015, Aung San Suu Kyi, a civilian Nobel Peace Prize winner, was elected the leader of Burma in a democratic election. It was a huge moment for this Asian nation. But the truth was this, the military still was in control of big pieces of the government and held many of the seats in the parliament there as well. Near the very end of his term and just before Trump was elected president, President Obama invited Su Chi to the White House and pledged to lift even more economic sanctions against Burma, citing all the progress that had been made. And it was a great moment. It was a mistake, though, that we saw time and time again from the Obama-Biden foreign policy team. Far too liberal, far too idealistic, far too naive. And tonight, that country, Burma, is in the midst of a disaster. Citing an unfair election late last year, the military has detained the country's leader and many other members of the ruling party and declared emergency rule for one year. Today, the White House announced the sanctions that were lifted by Obama will likely have to be reapplied. Take a listen. I think it's a message to um, all countries in the region um, and uh, uh, countries who, um, you know, will be asked uh, to respond uh, or to consider what the appropriate response will be um, in reaction to uh, the events that have happened over the past couple of days. All right. The truth of the matter is this. Obama and Biden lifted the gun uh, or jumped the gun, I should say, lifting sanctions in the first place. Obviously, the military held entirely too much power when the U.S. reopened the spigot in 2012 and all the money came back in. We've spoken about the numerous failures of the Obama-Biden foreign policy team, some of the most embarrassing deals that we have ever witnessed. The Paris Climate Accord that does nothing to stop climate change. The Iran nuclear deal, which Iran cheated the entire time and spent all the money we gave them financing terrorism. Now you have this. It's another example. Obama started sending money to Burma in 2012. And when he removed the last of the sanctions in 2016, there were those who could clearly tell that this was a huge mistake. Here is a portion of a New York Times article from five years ago. Quote, some human rights advocates said the action was premature. John Sifton, Asian policy director for Human Rights Watch, called the decision astounding. Astounding in this situation sounds a lot like dumb, but I guess we're not too surprised. The military regime in Myanmar has long made moves against Muslims, similar to the Chinese and the way that they treat the Uyghur Muslims in that country. In Myanmar, they have the Rohingya. That's a Muslim minority that the government basically just wants to erase. They want these people gone. When Obama lifted the sanctions there, there were reports the military had burned entire Muslim villages to the ground, raped the women killed the kids, essentially a government committing genocide. And we start sending money to them. It created a refugee crisis as people fled west to Bangladesh to escape. The nation's leader was aware that this was happening and did absolutely nothing about it. A Nobel Peace Prize winning leader of that country was completely silent. Obama saw all this as well and still lifted those sanctions. Former UN Secretary Nikki Haley tweeted th today, she tweeted this, what's happening in Burma is another failure of the naive Obama-Biden foreign policy. In exchange for lifting sanctions, they said democracy would follow. Instead, we saw a horrific genocide and now a coup, a tragedy for the people of Burma. As far as our horrible investment in this country, since 2012, we have sent Burma more than $1.5 billion in your money. It's a mistake we make time and time again, sticking our noses in places that it doesn't belong. Why on earth are we in Burma? What do we care about Burma? If we have ever had a problem, if we ever do have a problem, do you think the Burmese would jump in to help us? Would any of the countries that we send all of this aid to help us? you got to love the United States. At this point, the question is, who are we not?